Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Jake Smash here with another Watcher of Realms video. It is, where's my watch? 0905, Friday, January the 12th. And we are doing the Watch Guard faction trials this morning, all right? So just like all my other videos, I'm going to walk you through it. Stage 12, uh, turn Power of Dominance off talk you through some of the stuff that I encountered, how I solved some of the problems, give you some champ differences, all that good stuff so that you can do it. So we're on stage 12. Power of Dominance is off. Let's fight. You got to deploy three marksmen and clear it with soul intact. So the three that I used were Edril, Brienne, and Cratch. I've got better champs now, but the setup that you see here is the one that I used. Uh, Ain, I'm pretty sure everyone gets him in the first week or two of logging in, if my memory is correct, but um, everyone should have him. And then uh, Cratch was actually MVP here. Everyone hates on Cratch, but I would not have beaten stage 12 without him. So uh, if you don't have Regulus as a legendary lord, then there are uh, a couple other options here you can do. I'm going to show you. Let's Let's just get right to it. Okay, so first thing I did is I got Regulus on the board, all right? So if you don't have Regulus, then put down a different tank there to get these first monsters that come out of the right side, all right? Now, whether or not your next champ is either a DPS or a healer, that will uh, be dependent on how strong your tank is here, right? So I'm going to assume that Regulus can survive. I'll do DPS first. I don't think I put great... I'm not sure about the gear. I, I didn't double check. Everyone was strong enough to do this without power of dominance. So we'll find out together. Let's lay down some heals. So kind of the cool thing about this is A, I needed Cratch, and B, I needed Camille. I needed a second healer. Um, so Camille, a rare champ, actually got some use. Next up, we're going to put Edril up top here, facing to the right. I'm going to use her to pick off some of the mobs that come out of the uh, top middle, and then also to pick off enemies before they actually make it to the soul crystals. All right. Now, next champ is coming down, so I want to place my next tank. Okay, so you can get by with only two. I The first time I passed this, my gear wasn't as good. I needed three. So... I don't want to use Edril's ult yet, but I do need to get some heals up there so she stays alive. I'm going to wait on Edril's ult until it'll actually, you know, save me from someone crossing that finish line. So the next two that I really need are going to be Cratch and Brienne. Alora is a better option than Brienne if you have her. I cleared this with Brienne. And I'm going to explain why I really needed Cratch in just a moment. So we put Cratch in the middle facing down. Speed it up just a little bit. I'm using Iona for all of the big mobs. And the reason I need Cratch, Brienne facing down. The reason I need Cratch and Brienne there in the middle, Camille's going to heal them as they get attacked. But those uh, just coming out of the far right, those red mages. Oh, no. Pay attention, Jake. Uh... I uh, got it. Barely. Whew. Pay attention. Uh, those red mages that do a AOE damage, um, they have really strong magic resistance. So you need physical damage. And that's where Cratch and Brienne come into play. It looks like I didn't put, I did not re-gear Cratch. Um, but it, so he's not going to be doing a ton here. But it uh, looks like Iona is strong enough to take care of the mobs. And then we'll be able to pick them off. And this is basically the run. We've got Camille healing towards the right. We've got uh, Lightlock healing down. You can mix and match those depending on where you need more heals, right? Uh, but this is the concept. Edril helps pick off enemies that are making it through towards your crystals. You've got a couple of tanks. And if one of your two um, DPS in the middle dies, then you've got another tank and Ain to help support Livian and Regulus, or your two tanks. You've got two more positions that can help support if you need them. We want to pop Iona's ult as we get uh, the group of monsters, as they start to cluster together so that she can take out as many as possible. Let's use Brienne's ult. Oh, Brienne died. Perfect. 
Let's use Idril's ult so they don't get past. Let's get Ain up top right there. Yeah, I, I definitely did not regear everyone. But it looks like it'll be just enough to get it done. Oh, it's close. There we go. Just barely enough. And that's the concept, right? So that's how I did it. I had two tanks with some uh, support there if necessary. I had two heals. I had uh, Cratch and Brienne in the middle to attack down. And I had Edril picking off the flying units that snuck past Regulus. And that's how we got it done. So uh, I hope this helped. If it did, if you appreciate this video, please support the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. Um, if I missed anything, if you're stuck at a different section of the map, let me know in the comments. I'll help you pass it. And um, that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great day.